What's going on, everybody? Kellen Chafee here for the Tuesday Tech Talk. Um, on this Tech Talk, guys, I'm going to be talking about business pages, uh, personal profiles, and why they're so important when you're doing any kind of online sales or marketing. Okay? I see this all the time. There's a lot of people that are in like MLMs or that start their, their first drop shipping business, or maybe they're, they started their own training um, and they've already had some success in the industry and they want to teach others how to do it. Uh, it does not matter what kind of business you have. It's imperative that your pages look clean, they're set up professionally, and they're set up for the best results, okay? So to start off from the top here, I'm just gonna share my screen. I'm, just, I'm literally gonna go through my profiles, okay? So just coming over here ugh, to my, my personal Facebook page, okay? So obviously I'm a business owner. I have a few different businesses. Now, do you think for one second that if, if someone ha wanted to purchase my service or want, wanted me as a mentor or, or wanted to hire me as a consultant, do you think if they landed on my personal profile and all it had was dumb memes on it and a bunch of bullshit that they would take me seriously? I don't think so. So if you're running any kind of business online on social media, you need to make sure a lot of people are going to be viewing your personal profile. A lot of people are going to be snooping. Okay. So you need to make sure uh, that your pages are set up accordingly. So some of ba some basic tricks and tips that I can teach you is make sure that your profile photo and your banner, you should get a clear vision of your face. Okay. If someone can't see what you look like, there's, it's very seldom that they're going to trust you. Okay? Another little bonus tip here is add the same filter to both photos and the same grain filter to both photos. And you can use this with many different apps. I use an app called Snapseed. You can download it on your cell phone. Again, that's called Snapseed. Okay? So um, another good one is an intro, a short, effective intro for yourself and your business that gives people insight to what you do. You don't want someone to have to snoop through 28 pages of content for, the, for, for them to understand uh, what you're all about, okay? So nice, clean intro. Uh, and then something called featured photos. Virtually nobody has these anymore. Make sure that you guys do this. So you can have up to nine different photos uh, for your featured photos. Same rule applies. Add the same filter, add the same grain filter to every single photo. It's going to make your entire page look appeasing and very, uh, you know, easy to look at. Okay, so a clean, sharp, and professional. Um, so again, depending on what business model that you have and the type of business that you're promoting, or whether it's a service or whatnot, um, you know, this might vary. And there's a lot of different creative things that you can do with as far as speech and photos. Okay. But anyways, uh, biggest thing here, again, is, is the same filter and, and same grain, okay? Next being content. Uh, like I said prior, if you are posting nothing but memes and dumb shit all the time, no one's going to take you seriously. If you're not taking your business seriously, how do you expect others to, okay? So, you know, you can see even on my profile, I, you know, it's all about providing value. You should be providing value, 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 and then you ask for a sale. Okay, because no one wants to watch a bunch of shit that has no value in it, right? It's just a waste of their time. Okay. All right. So fan pages. Okay, business pages. Um, I'll just go through mine. Might as well. Awesome. Does load up. Okay, so very very similar rules apply, guys, to um, to a, a fan page. Um, so one thing that you can do here, if we go into settings, and again, this is going to vary depending on what type of business you're promoting, um, but you have a tab in here called templates and tabs. So if you put out a ton of video content, you might want to change your template to movies. Okay. So you can edit your basic templates within here and you have all these different setups in here. So make sure you take a quick peek at each one like when you set your business page up or your fan page up and see what one applies the most uh, to your business or to your product or service, okay? There's a lot of other settings and stuff in here, but I'm not gonna go into that on this uh, tech talk, okay? So again, same thing applies um, as to other page. Uh, nice photos you, uh, on fan pages or business pages, you can make edited videos. Obviously, I have a video, um, but you know, I think the best piece of advice that I can give you is 
don't half ass it. Okay. People should be able to land on your business page and immediately know what you're about and what you do. And so one good way to do this would do would be to use this cool little tool called canva.com. It's free to use and it allows you to kind of do a my like basic graphic design. You can upload images to it if you want. I'll even kind of show you how it works. Actually here, you know, I'm actually sure that works. Okay, so you can upload images. So you can find something on Google Images, upload it here. You can create your own from scratch. You can use these templates. You can add text, really basic stuff, guys. So pretty much what I was getting at with your banner is maybe you would uh, you'd have a nice photo on here and then you wanna tell people about your business, okay? So, or maybe you have a quote or a slogan. You might wanna put that on there, so live free, awesome. Great, and I put this at the bottom corner. You could put in uh, social media plugs. So, um, another little basic example for you here. So maybe I'm just gonna delete all this crap, you don't need that. And I would put uh, Insta at Kellen Chafee or your business name or whatever your Instagram profile might be. Some people know where to find you on multiple platforms. This could go for YouTube as well. Okay, so basic little run through on Canva here. Really basic to use. You can copy paste some images if you want. Maybe you want to add some like emojis. Go like, I don't know, um, business emojis. You can do this with anything. And literally, okay, sure, let's go images. And I can literally, um, these are all crappy as hell, but I can literally just copy image, Canva, and command V, and boom. Look at that, you can custom make your own Facebook banner so that it pops and it stands out and tells people more about your business. Um, people have the attention span of a goldfish nowadays, so you have to be able to capture their attention as quickly as possible, otherwise they're gonna lose interest on in your service or your business, okay? Same applies to content. Um, make sure you guys do a bio uh, when it comes to your page. It just gives people insight as to what you're about and, and kind of how you function. Uh, as well is do a do a, a bio photo for your page as well like guys take the time to set this up once it's done once you don't have to worry about it ever again I might update my stuff like once a year um, offers like if you have an e-commerce store uh, or like or you have any special um, deal going on make a really solid cop like do a solid copyright copywriting is text on a, on a post if you don't know what copywriting is if you take the time, write out good copy. Um, I could do a full training, guys, just on copywriting. That's the most valuable skill in the world. Um, I'll give you a basic tip. When writing copy, you need something called a hook. Okay, a hook is the first line. It's what's gonna make people want to read your copy. Another thing that you should do is space space your 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 text, space your wordings. Okay, on this one, I kind of crammed a lot of it in there. Uh, but you can see on some of my other posts as well, I always space my copy. Okay. Oh my God, it's taking a little bit to load. All right. Oh, this is pretty basic stuff. I'm going to snap. Okay. So space your copy line for line for line for line. Okay. It makes it easier to read. Uh, if it's all conjumbled together and it's not spaced out, chances are it's more difficult to read and people won't even read it through. Okay. Anyways, guys, so that's basic setup for your personal profiles and your business pages. Um, it's applicable to every business. And uh, if you have, guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. All right, guys, much love. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next Tech Talk as well. I'm going to be doing, um, providing more in-depth detail on various types of social media marketing, advertising, and stuff like that. So stay tuned for the future ones. They're going to be fucking epic. All right, much love, guys. Peace. What's going on guys? Kellen Shape here. I'm one of the co-founders of DFM or Digital Freedom Movement. If you got value from that video, please like, subscribe, and as well, you'll see two links below. One of them is for our free open group on Facebook uh, where you can request to join. We'll give you guys free value and content as well as there is a link below for our masterclass uh, that you can watch so I can give you more detail on high ticket affiliate marketing. We'll give you more info on DFM and as well, you'll be able to speak with somebody personally one-on-one. -on -one. All right, get to it and we'll see you guys on the other side.